and welcome to my gym, Lourdes Hooper. Today I'm going to present a strength training program for you. It's a 12 week program, a progressive program. And uh, it's a minimalist program. So you will only use one kettlebell. And I would suggest a weight that you can do. It's with the Olympic lifts, snatch and clean New York. And I would suggest that you use a bell that with the exercise that is your weakest, you can perform six to eight repetitions. So it's a heavy program. And uh, it's divided into three blocks with a deload block every third, fourth week. So the block one, it's clean air and snatch. You can choose which one you do first. I usually do the clean air first myself because I like the warm up that I get. But you can start with snatch if you want to. The first week you do three plus three times three. And if you're not that, if the weight is too easy for you, you will shorten the break. So if I start with the cleaning yolks, I do three with one arm and I shift in the air and I do three with the other arm. I have a break. It can be from 20 seconds to one minute. I do it again. And when I'm done with the, the clean yolk, I go for, to the snatch. I do three snatches. I change in the air and I do three set snatches with the other arm. And I have my break from 20 seconds to one minute. When I'm done with these, which I will do three times a week, I will do them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or thir Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I will do the strength program. And I will have something for my legs, like a goblet squat, or stiff legged -like deadlifts. I can have sumo deadlifts. I can have uh, reverse lunges. And uh, for the pulling part, I would suggest that you have some kind of pull-ups. If you can't do pull-ups, you can do them with a band or you do eccentric pull-ups. So you just hold. Or you do it with a rubber band and you have a stick or something and do lat pull down. And uh, you will do rows. You will do rows two time, times a week. So if you on Monday have regular rows, you will do penalty rows on Friday. And uh, you can, I would do the program that I have like goblet squat on Monday or front squat with the bell on, on rock in rack position. And on Wednesday I would do stiff legged like deadlifts or sumo deadlifts and on, on Fridays I would do reverse lunges. For the pulling part I would do rows on Monday, I would do pull ups on Wednesday and pendulum rows on Friday. And for the pushing part on Mondays I would do press or push press. On Wednesday I would do push ups or dips. And uh, if you are not comfortable with the dips, you do push-ups. And uh, if it's too easy, because I would only use the rep range between five and eight, I would do the eccentric part really slow because you can make five push-ups really hard. And for, the, for Friday, I would do a upright row with one arm or I would do with, with both arms. And uh, the best would be to have both press, push-ups and dips. And when I'm done with the first week, so this is week one, I go to the second week, week two, 
And the only thing that is going to happen is that the reps will go up. So it will be 4 plus 4 times 3. For the third week, the reps will go up again. I'm going to 5 plus 5 times 3. And when I have done three weeks, I will have a deload week. But I wouldn't rest completely, I would have a run. Everybody should know to run. And you can choose if it's 1K run, 2K run, 3K run, 5K run. You run it, you don't have any breaks. You do, you have a pace that you can do the entire time you run. So if you're new to running, do just two Ks. And then I would have some kind of test that week too. It could be that I have an unwrap of five swings, five goblet squats, three push-ups. And an unwrap for five minutes. I do as many as I can. And I keep the score in mind. When I'm done with the first block and the deload block week, I will start with the second block. In the second block, I go back to the three reps. Three plus three, but I do it four times. So I start increasing the sets. And the second week, I would do four plus four times four. The third week, I would do five reps times four. And when I'm done with these three weeks, because this will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The second week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And the third week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I would have my deal all week and I would do the running again. I would do the same run that I did the other deal of week and uh, I would have some kind of strength test. When I'm done with this, I start the third block and the third block will be I go down with the repetitions again three plus three and I increase one set so I will do three reps with one arm three reps with other arm and I will do it five times the second week in the third block I would increase the reps, 4 plus 4 times 5. On the third week, I will come to the 5 plus 5 times 5. And then I would have my third block of deload. We're going to do the tests again. When I'm done with this, I can uh, increase the weight if I want to, or I can decrease the weight and do it with, a dub with double kettlebells. And the strength part,
will be if I have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Mondays, Wednesday, Fridays. I start with legs. It can be goblet or front rack. On Wednesday, stiff legged dead lift or sumo. On Fridays, reverse lunges. And for the pushing part, I would have press or push press. I would like to have dips. If I can't have dips, I do push ups. And for Friday, I, you can do an upright row. We have the dips on Wednesday and you have the push-ups on Friday. And uh, for the pulling part, I will have row. One arm row. And uh, on Wednesdays, I will have pull-ups. If you can't do the pull-ups, you take a rubber band and you put a stick in the band so you can do lat pull-down. And uh, for Friday, I would do pendulum rows to maximize my strength gains. Pendulum row. Everything is done with one kettlebell. So the reps in the strength part here, I would go from, if you don't have like a good push or press, you can do only three reps, it's okay. And when you come like to a sumo, sumo deadlift, maybe you do 12. So for the strength and uh, hypertrophy part, I would have from three reps all the way to 12 reps. And I would, my depending on life, because life is hard, you will do the Olympic lifts and the strength program will be completely of have you eaten enough, have you gotten enough rest, is it too much stress in life, so the repetitions can be, be from 3 to 12. And you will do sets, this is the reps, and sets will be 3 to 5. And you will decide for yourself how many sets you will do, how many reps you will do. So the most important part is the Olympic lifts. And when you have done 12 weeks of this program, you can do other exercises if you want to. But you will have some kind of push and you will have some kind of pull and you will have, have leg training. And when you're done with this, do something else. Do only complexes and AMRAPs for a month. And then you can go back to this one. And you can increase the weight if you want to. If you're not that strong, so your kettlebell, if you're a female and your kettlebell is 8 kilos, and, or you're a male and you have a light weight, you can increase the reps. So you do five reps the first week in the first block. And uh, you go to eight and then ten. You don't have to do the three, four, five. This is just to help you how you could produce a program for yourself that will be progressive and will make you stronger. I hope you have, uh, can have any use of what I have said today. 
but how I work here in my gym, if you come here, the first part is learn the techniques so you can do the exercises and when the, you can do the exercises then we will start increasing the strength and conditioning. Thank you.